Welcome to this Good Friday worship service. Again, my name is Jennifer Jaimez and I am the pastor of St. Mark's United Church of Christ in Bloomington, Minnesota. As a state, we are continuing to shelter in place out of care and concern for one another. And so you will have noticed that I am recording this service out of my home. I was, however, able to recruit a couple of members of my household to lead this service with me. And so a special thank you goes out to Jocelyn and to Brian. Our worship will be rooted in the story of Jesus as found in the Holy Scriptures. If you would like to follow along, grab your Bible, or you may just choose to listen. We will begin with the Mandatum Novum, which is Latin for New Commandment, given by Jesus to his disciples. We will then hear the last days of Jesus' life and of his death according to the Gospel of Mark. Once again, we are not together in person, but wherever two or three gather, even in spirit, there Christ is. And so we trust that Christ is present with us this day. I invite you to take a breath in and a breath out to calm your heart and mind as we prepare for this service. And I will light the candle. Let us pray. Spirit of Christ be with us now. We may try to avoid this hour of trouble. We may not stay awake. Help us to face our fear of the cross on which you died. Strengthen us, we pray, so that we may walk through life into death without fear, through the night into eternal light. Amen. We remember that before Jesus was betrayed by one whom he loved, he gathered with his disciples one last time. He washed their feet in loving service. He lifted up the bread and wine and blessed it and gave it to them so that they in turn might share the bread and wine in remembrance of him. And after all of that, Jesus turned to his disciples and said, as recorded as the gospel, in the Gospel of John, I give you a new commandment, that you love one another. Just as I have loved you, you should love one another. By this everyone will know that you are my disciples, if you have love for one another. We'll continue with the Passion of Christ, and the readings for the last events of Jesus' life will come from the Gospel of Mark, beginning with the 14th chapter, the 26th verse. We will be reading from the New Revised Standard Version, and after each reading, there will be a pause, and I invite you to join in the saying, we remember once again. When they had sung the hymn, they went out to the Mount of Olives, and Jesus said to them, you will all become deserters, for it is written, I will strike the shepherd, and the sheep will be scattered. But after I am raised up, I will go before you to Galilee. Peter said to him, even though all become deserters, I will not. Jesus said to him, Truly, I tell you, this day, this very night, before the cock crows twice, you will deny me three times. But he said vehemently, Even though I must die with you, I will not deny you. And all of them said the same. We, we remember, remember once again. again. They went to a place called Gethsemane, and he said to his disciples, Sit here while I pray. He took with him Peter and James and John and began to be distressed and agitated. And he said to them, I am deeply grieved even to death. Remain here and keep awake. And going a little farther, he threw himself on the ground and prayed that if it were possible, the hour might pass from him. He said, Abba, Father, for you all things are possible. Remove this cup from me, yet not what I want, but what you want. He came and found them sleeping, and he said to Peter, Simon, are you asleep? Could you not stay awake one hour? Keep awake and pray that you may not come into the time of trial. The spirit is indeed willing, but the flesh is weak. And again he went away and prayed, saying the same words, and once more he came and found them sleeping, for their eyes were very heavy, and they did not know what to say to him. He came a third time and said to them, Are you still sleeping and taking your rest? Enough! The hour has come. 
The Son of Man is betrayed into the hands of sinners. Get up. Let us be going. See, my betrayer is at hand. We remember, we remember. once again. Immediately, while he was still speaking, Judas, one of the twelve, arrived, and with him there was a crowd with swords and clubs, from the chief priests, the scribes, and the elders. Now with the betrayer had given them a sign, saying, The one I will kiss is the man. Arrest him and lead him away under guard. So when he came, he went up to him at once and said, Rabbi, and kissed him. Then they laid hands on him and arrested him. But one of those who stood near drew his sword and struck the slave of the high priest, cutting off his ear. Then Jesus said to them, Have you come out with swords and clubs to arrest me as though I were a bandit? Day after day I was with you in the temple teaching, and you did not arrest me, but let the scriptures be fulfilled. All of them deserted him and fled. We remember, we remember once, once again. again. They took Jesus to the high priests, and all the chief priests and the elders and the scribes were assembled. Peter had followed him at a distance right into the courtyard of the high priest, and he was sitting with the guards warming himself at the fire. Now the chief priests and the whole council were looking for testimony against Jesus to put him to death, but they found none. So many gave false witness against him, and their testimony did not agree. Some stood up and gave false testimony against him, saying, We heard him say, I will destroy this temple that is made with hands, and in three days I will build another not made with hands. But even on this point, their testimony did not agree. Then the high priest stood up before them and asked Jesus, Have you no answer? What is it that they testify against you? But he was silent and did not answer. Again the high priest asked him, Are you the Messiah, the Son of the Blessed One? Jesus said, I am. And you will see the Son of Man seated at the right hand of the power and coming with the clouds of heaven. Then the high priest tore his clothes and said, Why do we still need witnesses? You have heard his blasphemy. What is your decision? All of them condemned him as deserving death. Some began to spit on him to blindfold him and to strike him, saying to him, Prophecy! The guards also took him over and beat him. We remember, we remember once again. again. While Peter was below in the courtyard, one of the servant girls of the high priest came by. When she saw Peter warming himself, she, start, she stared at him and said, You were also with Jesus, the man from Nazareth. But he denied it, saying, I do not know or understand what you are talking about. And he went out into the forecourt. Then the cock crowed. And the servant girl on seeing him began again to say to the bystanders, This man is one of them. But again he denied it. And then, after a little while, while the bystanders were again said to Peter, Certainly you are one of them, for you are Galilean. But he began to curse, and he swore an oath, I do not know this man you are talking about. At that moment, the cock crowed for the second time. Then Peter remembered that Jesus had said to him, Before the cock crows twice, you will deny me three times. And he broke down and wept. We, we remember, remember once again. again. As soon as it was morning, the chief priests held a consultation with the elders and the scribe and the whole council. They bound Jesus and led him away and handed him over to Pilate. Pilate asked him, are you the king of the Jews? He answered him, You say so. Then the chief priest accused him of many things. Pilate asked him again, Have you no answer? See how many charges they bring against you. But Jesus made no further reply, so that Pilate was amazed. We, we remember, remember once again. again. Now at the festival, he used to release a prisoner for them, anyone for whom they asked. Now a man called Barabbas was in prison with the rebels who had committed murder during the insurrection. So the crowd came and began to ask Pilate to do for them according to his custom. Then he answered them, Do you want me to release for you the king of the Jews? For he realized that it was out of jealousy that the chief priests had handed him over. 
But the chief priests stirred up the crowd to have him release Barabbas for them instead. Pilate spoke to them again, Then what do you wish me to do with the man you call king of the Jews? They shouted back, Crucify him. Pilate asked them, Why, what evils has he done? But they sh shouted all more, Crucify him. So Pilate, wishing to satisfy the crowd, released Barabbas for them, and after flogging Jesus, he handed him over to be crucified. We remember, remember once, once again. again. Then the soldiers led him into a courtyard of the palace, that is the governor's headquarters. And they called together the co whole cohort and they clothed him in purple cloak. And after twisting some thorns into a crown, they put it on him. And they began saluting him, hail king of the Jews. And they struck his head with a reed and spat upon him and knelt down in homage to him. And after mocking him, they stripped him of the purple cloak and put his own clothes on him. Then they led him out to crucify him. We remember, remember once, once again. again. They compelled a passerby who was coming in from the country to carry his cross. It was Simon of Cyrene, the father of Alexander and Rufus. Then they brought Jesus to the place called Golgotha, which means the place of a skull. And they offered him wine mixed with myrrh, but he did not take it. And they crucified him and divided his clothes among them, casting lots to decide what each should take. It was nine o'clock in the morning when they crucified him. The inscription of the charge against him read, King of the Jews. And with him they, they crucified two bandits, one on his right and one on his left. Those who passed by derided him, shaking their heads and saying, Aha, you who would destroy the temple and build it in three days, save yourself and come down from the cross. In the same way, the chief priests, along with the scribes, were also mocking him among themselves and saying, He saved others, he cannot save himself. Let the Messiah, the King of Israel, come down from the cross now so that we may see and believe. Those who were crucified with him also taunted him. We remember once again. When it was noon, darkness came over the whole land until three in the afternoon. At three o'clock, Jesus cried out with a loud voice, Eli, Eli, leme sabachthani, which means, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? When some of the bystanders heard it, they said, listen, he's calling for Elijah. And someone ran and filled a sponge with sour wine and put it on a stick and gave it to him to drink saying, wait, let us see whether Elijah will come to take him down. Then Jesus gave a loud cry and breathed his last. And the curtain of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom. Now when the centurion who stood facing him saw this in this way, he had breathed his last, he said, truly this man was God's son. There were also women looking on from a distance. Among them were Mary Magdalene and Mary, the mother of James the Younger and of Joseph and Salome. These used to follow him and provided for him when he was in Galilee. And there were many other women who had come up with him to Jerusalem. We remember once again. When evening had come, and since it was the day of preparation, that is, the day before the Sabbath, Joseph, Joseph of Arimathea, a respected member of the council, who was also himself waited expectantly for the kingdom of God, went boldly to Pilate and asked for the body of Jesus. Then Pilate wondered if he were already dead, and summoning the centurion, he asked him whether he had, whether he had been dead for some time. When he learned from the centurion that he was dead, he granted the body to Joseph. Then Joseph bought a linen cloth, and taking down the body, wrapped it in the linen cloth, and laid it in a tomb that had been hewn out of rock. Then he rolled a stone against the door of the tomb. Mary Magdalene and Mary, the mother of Joseph, saw where the body was laid. We, we remember, remember once, once again. again. Let us together join in the prayer that Jesus taught all who would follow him. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Let us together join our voices in the hymn, Were You There? words of Jesus from the Gospel of John chapter 14. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled, do not let them be afraid. You have heard me say to you, I am going away and I am coming to you. If you loved me, you would rejoice that I am going to my Father because the Father is greater than I. And now I have told you this before it occurs, so that when it does occur, you may believe. I thank you for joining in this worship service. There is no benediction this day because the events of this day do not conclude until Easter morning. So keep the faith through Good Friday and Holy Saturday and look for the link for Easter Sunday worship early Sunday morning. God's peace be with you.